We see a great example of it here where he gets past the first defender, drawing three help side defenders where he floats over all of them as he adjusts his shot in the air yeah, and gently touches the ball off the glass as he gets fouled for the and glass one. Again. This only continued to help him score throughout his career, getting more advanced throughout the years, ripping through, rising up, and swinging the ball from his left to his right hand, and then finishing the swing layup with his inside hand on the left side. As he got older, he be That's ridiculous. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Even here, it almost looks like he's being instructed to do a cone drill. Take one dribble right, make a between the legs dribble, take one dribble left, and shoot the ball. Jordan never really developed a bag, but he had these simple moves to flow into to create off the dribble. Using a double in and out Man, on the fast- That's a bag to me. If you could find your shot, if you could get your the shot you want, is that not a bag? You gotta have a bag to get the shot you want that many times. You know, come on, bro. That's a bag. It, 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 I'm saying it may not be a bag with all types of different stuff. It may be a bag with a whole bunch of a uh, 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 sour patch kids. You know what I'm saying got like four different kinds of sour patch kids. You know what I'm saying shit like that. Yeah, I see the title, man. Let's get to it. Michael Jordan is considered by many as the greatest of all time. The six-time NBA champion never once lost in the NBA Finals. He started dominating right when he came into the league and continued to dominate until he retired. But what was it that allowed him to dominate his entire career? And how did he evolve his game to continue to get better as each year passed? Coming into the NBA, a skinny kid named Michael Jordan took the league by storm, averaging 28 points per game as a rookie. What made Jordan so special early on was his uber athleticism combined with skill that we had never really seen before. Jordan had this ability to take off at almost any given moment and seemed to just soar through the air as he took flight. His game early on was very much so built around his athleticism. He could take flight off of either one foot or two feet for a dunk. Jordan had this quick burst of speed where he could- a video like that, yeah, that was talking about how he could do both. Most people are, are definitely either one or the other, but there's a few select few people that could really get up like this or off the, just the one foot, you know? easily drive by a defender and once he got downhill take off in an instant to rise up for a dunk there seemed to be almost no setting where he couldn't take off in a second did michael jordan do um any type of track or anything like that he probably did bro because the way he jumps that's what it, it seems like he got watch how he flies down the court and if we pause then, right here you would probably assume with three defenders around him and the angle he's at that this will end up in a layup but instead he bro. quite literally just flies ah. through the air and dunks it what was so impressive was that he could take off from these incredibly awkward positions, taking off down the lane through four defenders, jumping off his left foot on the left side of the rim, and turning in mid-air to face away from the hoop with his back to the defender, That's and throw tough. down a one-hand backwards dunk over him. The only other person I see do that so far is Kobe. Well, it's probably a dude that done it, but only person I've seen do it other than Mike is Kobe. I ain't gonna lie, Mike, I mean, Kobe's was tough too. This contributed to more than just dunks. He could attack, take off, and almost float in the air over the defense to lay the ball up. Just watch how he jumps off too and literally floats over the help side defender, adjusting his shot to finish the layup. When he rose up to shoot, he could quite- I was told, I used to talk about that layup when I first started doing these reactions, but that layup was big in the, uh, 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 in the package, the layup package. Like, everybody had that layup in the package, the, uh, uh. Or the, uh, uh, you know what I'm saying? I never knew that was from Mike. When I first started doing that, doing these reactions, I realized. Yo, Mike literally Mike rise different. up over defenses <laughs> to lay really. up the ball or get a shot off. Ugh. When he attacked, he had this slithery driving ability that allowed him to just slide right by the defense and get to the basket. Here he's being guarded by Dominique Wilkins, and he's able to rip right, just barely squeezing between Dominique and the out of bounds line, and gets in front of him to rise up for this dunk. For how young and athletic he was, he played with great patience and pace. Here he slowly dribbles off the screen, waiting for the perfect time to attack before attacking right by both defenders and getting to the rim for a layup. He knew exactly the right moment to attack, jogging up the ball and basically accelerates with two dribbles right through traffic past everyone to get a layup. When he rose up around the rim, he had some great touch to pair with his athleticism. Jordan could attack down the lane, adjusting his shot in the air and seem unbothered. 
Watch how on this fast break, the defender wraps up Jordan. Yet despite being fouled and having the ball at his hip, Jordan is able to flick the ball up while falling away from the basket and still gently touch the ball off the glass and into the hoop. When you combine his touch with all his other athletic features and ability to get down the lane, it made for some incredible finishes. He basically combines it all here, patiently waiting to drive before turning the corner, sliding right past the defender, floating in the air as he takes off with the entire defense surrounding him, and floats the ball over all of them and makes it. We see a great example of it here, where he gets past the first defender, drawing three help side defenders where he floats over all of them as he adjusts his shot in the air, That's and gently those touches those the ball it. off the glass as he gets fouled for Our the last one. Again. This only Great continued touch. to help him score throughout his career, getting more advanced throughout the years, ripping through, rising up, and swinging the ball from his left to his right hand, and then finishing the swing layup with his inside hand on the left side. As he got older, he... That's ridiculous. <laughs> Yo, that's... <laughs> and then finishing the swing layup with his inside That's hand on the left side. As he got older, he became much more fluid on his attacks and takeoffs, taking mm -hmm. off of one foot and throwing down this poster slam over the help side ah. defender, and ripping past the defender and getting his hand right to the rim to avoid his shot getting blocked you by the saying that, that the defender. The backboard, it really helps, because as soon as you, when you clap the backboard with the basketball in your hand, they can't touch the basketball or else it's going to be a goal ten, you Getting know? his hand right to the Look, rim to avoid his right shot getting blocked by the outside. Don't touch that. Don't touch that. But later Please. in his career, he didn't quite have the takeoff he once had. While he was still incredibly athletic during his last three seasons with the Bulls, we can notice that he wasn't quite no, soaring no, through the no. air like he I did in his younger way, years. Awful. Earlier in his career, a fast break like this would have just resulted in a dunk, but instead he jumps off two nah, for a layup. That's a fact. Another example Definitely here where does. he gets the ball <laughs> under the rim, and this oh, used so. to result in him just rising up to dunk it, but now instead he opts for the reverse layup and doesn't really get as high off the ground. But this didn't hinder his scoring ability or dominance on the court. He found new ways to take control of the game. Later on in his career, he learned to use his body and play off two feet learning to absorb contact on the drive from the defender while continuing to attack to get to the rim and take off in a more controlled setting off of two. Off <sighs> Why this should be bugging? I don't know. I should, like, get your shit to fucking cover. <laughs> and play off two feet. Learning to absorb contact on the drive from the defender while continuing to attack to get to the rim and take off in a more controlled setting off of two. Off the catch here, he rips, jumps off of two, absorbing the contact of the two defenders, and finishes the layup. Later on, Jordan had a much stronger frame, allowing him to absorb contact, drive through multiple defenders while jumping off two, and still staying on balance to finish bro, the yeah. shot. His body control in the air is crazy, bro. That's one thing. He, he, he's able to control his body in the air. Compare this to earlier on where he was much more likely to jump off of one oh, foot for takeoff. No Him fun. learning to play more off of two feet translated in a game built more around jump shooting compared to athleticism. You can tell the jump shot used to be more of a last resort option as he just continuously dribbled in place before realizing he doesn't have anything and just pulls the jumper. <laughs> Another example here, he takes one dribble to his left, doesn't create any space, yeah, with his body not even facing the direction of the hoop and jumps from this position to shoot the jump shot and it makes it body. even a deeper jumper like this in Just front of the three-point line he was up. only taking if the defense sagged off and allowed him to shoot the mid-range jumper was the first step to the evolution uh, of his tough. jump shot building his no game trouble. around these oh, mid-range pull-up jumpers where he rises up over the defense and shoots it over them slowly adding moves like this hezzy into a hard between the legs step back jumper making some incredibly difficult shots in the mid-range as he takes two dribbles left, spins back right, and shoots this one leg fadeaway as he falls down and makes it. In his last few years with the Bulls, he became much more comfortable pulling up for these longer range shots. This became a staple part of his game, shooting way more twos with range, becoming more comfortable shooting from beyond the arc with his catch and shoot jump shot where literally a wide open three beforehand might have caused hesitation to shoot despite being wide open. He even found simpler ways to get to his pull up as he changes speed to attack and then quickly stops to rise up for the jump shot before the defender can even get off the yo, ground. Yo, see, quickly the ch yo bro, I forgot, I, I don't know how to put the terms into words, but the way he channels his energy going, going uh, 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 
He's he's running with his energy and he channels it of all vertically. Like I don't know how he does that. So he even found simpler ways to get to his pull up as he changes speed to attack, speed, then quickly stops to rise up for the jump shot before the being able to go straight vertical like that. Off that's another reason why Jordan's able to jump off two feet so well, because that's what you're really trying to do when you're jumping off two feet. You're trying to change your your uh, your your speed to vertical speed, I guess you could say. You know what I'm saying that's the best way I could put it, I guess. You know, he's really trying to change that speed to vertical speed and go up. You know what I'm saying maybe a little for a little more uh, uh, horizontal too, because you know I'm saying you might be far from the rim. But besides that. Defender to make off. it off the Same ground. Using a one dribble right, pull back to his left with a crossover to shoot the basketball. While still getting to his one dribble pull up, slightly fading mm. back so he has enough room to get the shot off. This evolved into his post game, where the post fade became one of his go to moves later on in his career. He became Angel. exceptional with this fadeaway jumper out of the post, using his body to back his defender down and then turn to shoot the jumper as he was falling away. He developed great patience with this, backing down his opponent, waiting for the perfect opportunity to turn into the paint and shoot the fallaway jumper. He would learn to use this off the drive as he attacks, makes a half spin fake one way and then turns back the other way for the fadeaway jump shot. Early on, he didn't have as much of a post game, which is typical for younger players, not really using his body on this post up and kind of just turning and using his jumping ability to get around the defender to shoot. As he did develop, he wasn't using as much patience early on, quickly faking one way to shoot the other, driving downhill just to stop, fake one way, and turn back in the other direction as he falls away. Compare this to later in his career, where much more technical. I already know he's about to get to fast. In the other direction uh -huh. as he falls away. Compare this to later in his career, where he was much more patient at using his body to back his defender down before finally having enough space to flow into the post fade. This under control pace and poise he played with later on was a direct Yo, result of the I'm improvement of his handle. Early in Yo, his career, bro. Jordan he like and it's it's never a necessary dribbling, bro. It's only to escape the, the defender, you know? <laughs> it's crazy. Bro. Handled the ball in right? almost so an fast, awkward too. manner. We would see some slick moves like this with his hezzy into a triple between the legs, then pull up jump shot. But he relied a lot on his quick first step to explode past the defender as he draws a foul here. And when he couldn't just get a burst of speed right off the first dribble, it might look a little bit more awkward using these dribble combos that weren't the most fluid until finally he gets down to the paint and throws up this ridiculous layup and makes it. Even here, it almost looks like he's being instructed to do a cone drill, take one dribble right, make a between the legs dribble, take one dribble left and shoot the ball. Jordan never really developed a bag, but he had these simple moves to flow into to create off the dribble. Using a double in and out and on the fast. That's a bag to me. If you could find your shot, if you could get your the shot you want, is that not a bag? You gotta have a bag to get the shot you want that many times, you know? Come on, bro, that's a bag. It, it, you know what I'm saying? It may not be a bag with all types of different stuff. It may be a bag with a whole bunch of uh, 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 Sour Patch Kids. You know what I'm saying? Got like four different kinds of Sour Patch Kids. You know what I'm saying? Shit like that. Come on, man. Last break to get by for a dunk. Uh, attacking left and then crossing over right, only to cross back over to his like left to shoot a pull up jump shot. The defense. You can tell how much smoother his moves got as he got older, going from between the legs hanging in the air, then using one quick crossover to rise up to shoot. Learning to be under complete control while creating space, crossing over from right to left attacking, then spinning back right as his defender tries to cut him off to flow into a jump shot. All of this led to Jordan dominating his competition. Uh, Younger Jordan's so game was built mainly around athleticism with his speed and high flying jumping ability. While older Jordan could still get up to throw down, his game was built more so off of pace, skill, and using his body to get to his jump shot. I'd say during his first three championships from 1990 to 93, MJ had the perfect blend of skill and athleticism. He was still incredibly athletic and could jump out the gym with some high flying dunks, yet showcased a very polished skill set that allowed him to create off the dribble, finish at the rim, and get to his jumper. Regardless, he dominated his entire career, finding a new way to dominate as each year passed. 
Like Jordan, many other star players evolved their game to dominate throughout the years, which is how they became all-time greats. So if you would like to watch a similar video on how Kobe Bryant evolved as a scorer, Kobe went done with that video. But yeah, that's the end of this one, y'all. Yeah. Y'all know what to do if y'all enjoyed it. You know what I'm saying? Let me know how y'all feel in the comments. You know what I'm saying? Let me know if this guy got any things wrong. Because y'all know a lot of times people do get things wrong. Maybe he didn't. But, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to leave that up to y'all. I'm not the expert <laughs> on Michael Jordan's uh, career yet. And he's still researching. <laughs> um, yeah, man. Turn on post notifications, like video, comment, subscribe, body.